there was a time many years ago that God gave me an instruction I prayed for 72 hours non-stop my eyes did not see the Sun I didn't know whether it was morning or night I did not check my time don't trivialize 72 hours even if this is what you are doing for 72 hours it is a lot of work 72 hours because we needed to end some seasons and step into certain seasons I was teaching the school of ministry student yesterday we we're discussing the anointing <clears throat> and I was telling them that when you have a little extension wire connected you can hold the extension wire with your hand and even if there is a spark it will not be serious but when you see a high tension cable there are people who held it and remained there till they dried up that's how men can become you can become an extension wire that has little or nothing coming from it or you can become a high tension cable in the spirit the difference sacrifice you don't just look at people and say be healed it's not everything that is a gift there are things that are rewards you will have to stay with the spirit sacrifice of prayer sacrifice of the word the discipline and the constraints i don't want to sound arrogant to begin to tell you the things that i have done for this kingdom but brothers and sisters hear me many of you are in need of interventions there are some of you following online you want to break cycles you want to break patterns god is speaking to you not without a sacrifice it is true sacrifice the prophets of Baal remember at Mount Carmel the last card that they used to bring Baal down was sacrifice Elijah said I give you morning till evening do whatever you know to do to invite him they tried everything they started by prayer they danced around remember nothing happened when evening was coming they say there's something we know about the realm of the spirit if Baal would not wake up to our prayer if you will not wake up to our singing give us a knife and the bible says they started cutting themselves have you seen traditionalists do these things they make incisions because they want to invoke powers they cut themselves like animals and elijah said your god is sleeping when it was now time elijah said get out of the way the time for the evening sacrifice that was the time Elijah called God he didn't just stand and say God come <clears throat> he waited till it was the time of the evening sacrifice and he said bring these bullocks for me he set on an altar put sacrifice there poured water and called upon the God who answers by fire and fire came from heaven licked everything when your life becomes an offering and a sacrifice then you walk in signs and wonders then God will give you a grace and an anointing not just for a church not just for a city but for nations I tell you the truth anybody who loves you sincerely will not lie to you not everything is just free that you pick up on the ground there in Jesus name there are sacrifices that follow certain graces graces and anointings and possibilities are in levels there are graces for regions there are graces for nations there are graces for continents all of them come by sacrifice can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism